Very special morning for us here on the Kevin and Bean Show. We've got Matt and Dom from the band Muse in the studio. What's up and with Chris? Is he just uh, is he just uh, grouchy in the morning? He doesn't like to <laughs> do interviews. What's up with? I, th- I don't think he was able to get on a plane to fly over for this interview. He's in London, obviously. So we interviewed so can, you guys. What, we should get him on the whatever this is. How, how, what's Bean talking on? ISDN. ISDN. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, yeah, should we should get him. We should get him on one of those sometime. Yeah, we should do that. I just didn't know if like he's a mean person or what's going on. With this. <laughs> We've interviewed you many times. He's never there. <laughs> he's, he's the shy uh, type. Let's okay. That way. All right. He was definitely there on the night uh, over the summer where you were at Rome's Olympic Stadium. And this is a brand new concert DVD that, from what I understand, from what I've been reading about, is unlike any concert that's ever been shot or released before. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, well, what, you know, we shot it. One of the main things about it is we shot it in 4K, which is like this new camera technology, which is like four times the definition of HD. So and it's, so it's four times what we think of as high def. Yeah. So when you know when you see, you know, some uh, we're kind of used to it these days, but you see a bit of HD and you can kind of really see like hairs on the, detail, on yeah. someone's face and the detail. So it's kind of four times the def- definition yeah, of that. Li- li- and li- it's a little bit too much detail. I was <laughs> going to ask. Yeah. Do we need that? You can see. Do you have like a yeah. makeup artist I mean, before yeah, the show. As, and... as you can see, I, I I suffer from the odd spot here and there. You know, <laughs> there's, there's, there's one big one that you can see in the, in the Rome show, and uh, you know a couple of close-ups. I'm sure that. <laughs> Yeah, Everyone's going to appreciate it. Yeah, Jay, you can see the contents of Zits. Now, um, can we... Will that translate onto the Blu-ray? Uh, nope. Yeah, well, no, basically, basically 4K... It, all the theatres that it went to was it was in 4K, so you right. got to see it in Ultra HD. And, and unfortunately, <clears throat> unless you get one of these 4K TV sets, which, which are now coming out... Um, you know, it's the kind of thing that it, probably in the next few years, most people will start upgrading to this 4K thing, and then this this uh, DVD, whatever whatever it's going to be on, will make sense. You know, right? So it's it's kind of something for the future. But the actual DVD that will come out will be. I mean, the cameras themselves did have these crazy advanced lenses on, so so there will be a different uh, depth of field difference than what you normally see. Now, in, is in the terms equipment... of 4K, unless you've got the 4K. Uh, TV at home. Yeah. Right, exactly. And it, yeah. None of our listeners can afford the 4K TV. <laughs> yeah, don't blame right. me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are, are are the cameras? I got a uh, projector. You went for an I've got, I've got a free projector from Sony. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, nice! I love that. that. That's the main reason why we shot it. Okay. <laughs> Parties at Matt's house. Um, are the cameras uh, bulky, and do they kind of get in your way when you perform, or to you on stage performing? Did it was it just like being shot with a regular regular rig? Uh, well, uh, most of them are regular, but there was one really cool camera that was called. They called it the Spider Cam, didn't they? It was basically like a, it was like a UFO. It was like it was like connected to all these wires around the top of the stadium, and it could literally go anywhere in the stadium at any time. So it could come right up close to my face, or, and it could suddenly spin around, go out into the audience, up into the top of the stadium in one big uh, continuous uh, camera shot. Is this some of the technology that is in the app that the uh, Muse 360? Uh, or no, where that? you can control uh, the camera. <laughs> That's something different. That, something that, that, that's a different yeah, type that's, of camera, yeah, like that, a 360 yeah, what, yeah. camera that's fixed on stage. This yeah. camera that he's talking about just flies around the just stage. Floats so everywhere. We, yeah, we're able to get these just insane shots. Like the opening shot for the DVD is a big kind of pan, pan in, I suppose. And it kind of, because of the definition, again, when you if you did experience it at the cinemas or in the future, it almost looks 3D because the definition is so extreme. Sorry, it'd be, it's be amazing. I, I feel like they should get that. It's called a spider cam. They should get them in uh, in football games. It'd be amazing. You know, if, if like a When football, you say a football, football, you mean soccer? Well, both, both, both. Because they, they have they, them they, in any, the NFL. Oh, they have them. Yeah, they're right. over the so, field. They fly down and yeah. zoom in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, And it's crazy good. Yeah. Crazy uh, those good. are probably just President Obama's drones, you guys. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, the about that. The NSA <laughs> government. Uh, yeah. Tell us about what else was special or different that night. Why did you decide to shoot that show? and what did you do to get up for it knowing yeah. that it was going to be a home release uh well it's the first time we played um in rome for about 10 years i think i think last yeah. time we played there was a small venue like a theater or something right and uh, we, we didn't quite know if we were able to pull off an olympic stadium in this in in rome we, we played san siro which is a football stadium in milan before but the south of italy is kind of a bit of an unknown area none really you know all the all the sort of promoter types and all that kind of they don't really know how many tickets you're going to sell because it's a very, it's a very volatile audience there. You know, like it depends right. on you know. So, but we took a risk. In other words, we took a risk and said, right, let's just do this Olympic Stadium. And even, even like um, I think our manager and everyone was thinking like, we don't know if this is going to work. You know, and uh, to everyone's surprise, it sold out within a few days, and that was quite. Um, now you speak Italian. Right? Uh, un poco, un poco. <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> that, that's, all, that's all I can actually did say. Did you try? <laughs> did you try a little bit on stage? Uh, yeah, while I, you were I, I said a few well. bits. Yeah. I, I said a couple of bits, but you know. 
I'm not going to pretend I can speak Italian. But, um, but yeah, I mean, we, we chose it because it was Rome. We hadn't been there for a long time. It was a big outdoor. And we loved that. You know, we did that gig with Rage Against Machine um, in the in the LA Olympics. Stadium, yes. Yeah? And, and I love that kind of bowl shape, you know, you know, that Olympic sort of open, properly mm-hmm. open stadium, uh, open air stadium. Uh, so it's, it's the same kind of venue as that. And I, me- I remember doing that gig with Rage and thinking, wow, what a great layout when you can when everybody can see all of the sky the stars as well right. as you, know, you can see everything around you were you nervous for to have the uh, the dancing pope in rome <laughs> <laughs> um well i think that pope's supposed to be hip and cool isn't he so, so you know we thought having him dancing around wouldn't be a bad yeah he was jamming with obama up there and i think there's a few other world leaders you were a little nervous there. about that though weren't you uh, uh, well, no, we, we did actually have Bellasconi naked. Well, we had Bellasconi <laughs> wearing, a, wearing a bikini, and, and in sound check, it was, it was deemed a little bit on the edge. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> now, you're talking about the images that are projected on the digital screens during the show exactly, that, yeah. the, that yeah. the audience sees. And you also had live actors as part of the set, too. Tell me about that. Yeah, we've always been uh, we've always been into the idea of going to the, the next level in terms of theatrics, you know, because we kind of feel like the music we make, we can probably get away with a bit of that. Um, it's always risky when a rock band tries to go into that territory, but we thought we'd give it a go. We just did it a little bit. There was a there was a theme of um, you know of um, energy energy usage, energy consumption, and so on, um, which basically we got two actors in to act out. One of them was like um, a sort of you know, a sort of Euro banker who was doing quantitative easing, pouring, you know, Euros all over the audience. Then there was like a businesswoman who was drowning herself on oil and fuel and that kind of thing. And then, then they both die. Oh, good times. Yeah, good times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all just uplifting, an uplifting new show, you know. What can we say? It's, uh, it's, it's happening uh, to you guys. But, but then, she comes back, then she comes back as an angel floating from a light bulb. So, you know, there's, there's a happy ending. <laughs> hey, spoiler alert, well, first of all, all right? <laughs> um, the shows don't get any bigger than Muse Live at the Rome Olympic Stadium. That is available everywhere today, by the way. You can get it at muse.mu or amazon.com. It's available on CD, DVD, CD, uh, Blu-ray, digital. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. This is the package for Muse fans. Let's take one more quick break if you guys can stick around for one more we got a few more muse questions is that cool yeah cool yeah all right we'll be right back on k-rock